some of these salmon farms claim they're doing doing things better, saying that they're using no hormones or antibiotics or they're telling chefs this. I know personally when I go onto the websites, the lingo is pretty tricky how they how they, how they write they're not using these certain things. Now, you've done research on on some of this stuff where you've been on the farms, you've seen the waste coming out. What can you say to somebody, to a chef who says, but I only buy this farm salmon because it's the best, or I only buy organic farm salmon from British Columbia? What would what would you say to them? I would say that unless you're buying salmon from a closed containment tank, so no waste going into the ocean, you are subsidizing impact on wild fish, extraordinary impact on wild fish. Because the trouble with this industry is they break the natural laws. As soon as you take fish and you put them in a cage and you put down these uh, nets and so the predators can't get in, what happens is the fish that are sick remain alive and remain infectious. And so they spread whatever it is they have to the other fish in the farm, which spreads out into the wild. And um, we had a big commission in Canada recently, and a federal scientist said that during an outbreak, a salmon farm will produce 65 billion infectious particles per hour. This, <laughs> this does not happen in the wild. In the wild, any fish that is sick, boom, predator gets it. Whether it's this big and it's a bird that eats it, or whether you know it's a great big king salmon that a killer whale eats, nature does not allow these sick individuals to remain. And so uh, they become breeding facilities for all kinds of, of, of pathogens. So if you're a chef and you are wanting to protect wild salmon by buying farm salmon, you got to get them from a tank. Because as far as I know, there, there really is no way to do this industry safely for the wild salmon if you're in a net pen. So